Jeff Bezos and Richard Branson are both trying to use their multi-billion dollar fortunes to flee the earth amidst a record-breaking heat wave and droughts. But that's none of my business. By the way, subscribe to my channel. I don't know how to work that in seamlessly, so... Eh. I honestly, I hope Bezos' rocket doesn't blow up on re-entry because my Twitter will definitely get banned in the aftermath of that event. And what would I do without Twitter? Where would I go to make myself cry with impotent rage while ignoring my friends and family when they try to talk to me? I guess Branson was the first one to get up there, but I bet Bezos is gonna be the first one with like a space yacht, you know? Oh, Branson, you must simply take your quaint little virgin galactic spacecraft up to my Chad space yacht for the weekend. <laughs> There's no laws up here, Brancy, you know? We can get up to some Alex Jones shit. Let's see if that whole pituitary gland thing works. I love how Alex Jones says that these rich people have discovered the dark secret to eternal youth, yet all of the power brokers in our country look like nightmare mummies. I have friends who are conspiracy theorists, and most of them vote Republican, which is pretty funny to me. Like, imagine that worldview for a second. The elites are satanic, multi-dimensional, pedophile lizards who have brainwashed the populace with their advanced mind control techniques. And I am strongly against raising their taxes. Come on, they earned that, that money. The space lizards who brainwashed us earned the money. Okay, gotcha. Every dictator through history you know, has had to give the people an enemy to fear and to hate, you know? Usually it's like immigrants or Jews or something, but the real enemy all along, rich people, <laughs> you know? It was rich people all along. The people who buy the politicians and block populist economic ideas from taking root at every turn, no matter how well they poll, how many people support them, Pretty much every social ill we have could be solved if we recognize that rich people are the enemy. You know, like, why haven't we addressed the climate crisis? Oh, well, too many oil and natural gas, millionaires and billionaires buying politicians. Why don't we have universal health care? Too many insurance, millionaires and billionaires paying politicians to be against it. Why can't we raise the minimum wage? Too many retail millionaires and billionaires paying off senators and congresspeople and mayors and governors and any other you know, a uh, palm that got a grease, right? Yet few leaders want to stand against the richies because the leaders are richies themselves and because they want money from the richies. A lot of the everyday people don't want to believe that rich people are the bad guys because they dream of being rich themselves. They worship wealth. I mean, think about all the YouTube channels where the entire premise of the channel is that some rich douchebag is showing off all their money to their broke-ass audience so that we can live vicariously through them. Think about how many TV shows there are celebrating wealth. Donald Trump, you know, won the presidency because he played a rich guy on TV and his catchphrase was, you fired. You know, he actually tried to trademark that phrase at one point because he's a friggin' idiot, but also because rich people think they can own anything. And you know what? You're usually right. You might think from this rant, by the way, that I'm like anti-wealth. But I'm really not. I mean, I like money just as much as anyone. I fantasize just as much as the next fat schlub about what it would be like to have the best of everything and rub elbows with the world's elite power brokers. I even buy the occasional Powerball ticket, you know? Even recognizing the astronomically minuscule ads that I could ever win. But, you know, I get to momentarily fantasize about what if I did? I'm not against wealth as much as I'm against political influence having a price tag and decent medical care, having a price tag, and clean drinking water, having a price tag. I mean, wealth should represent greater access to luxury, not greater access to necessity. I want conservatives to be able to call me a hypocrite, by the way, by pointing out how wealthy I am. So let's make them right by joining the Pessimist Productions Patreon and enjoying the plethora of awesome stuff that we've got avail available for you there. Uh, also, check out my podcast, Deep Fat Fry. We do shows every Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday, as well as uh, longer episodes every Friday. Live news show called Flash Fried every Wednesday. I also urge you to check out my streaming channel, uh, TJ Does Life, where I stream as often as I can. And I want you all to remember, most importantly of all, 
that my love is a blanket that warms the bones of even the coldest dissenting voice. You are all my children. I am your God. Only through me can you attain the solace that has hitherto eluded you. Peace.